What's up lovely people this is Sushant once again from Switch to Y wishing you a very happy morning everyone in this affinity photo video tutorial we are going to learn how to do a dripping effect inside affinity photo ipad it's very easy to create just follow the steps and you are able to create a very beautiful dripping effect i have seen lots of videos on the dripping regarding affinity photo I found that uh, it's not a correct way so I found a, a perfect way like this you can create a re real dripping effect you can create different different type of dripping effect uh, just by typing on Google you can get the different different type of PNG dripping okay and here I'm giving you the project to you you can download it from the description for the practice purpose let's begin with the tutorial here we have two elements that is first is model okay and the second one is dripping effect okay here if you see the model is transparent in the previous video i have teach you how to create a how to remove the background it's very easy just you have to tab on this selection tool and you can select this smart selection brush tool and you can erase the background I have already erased this uh, for the tutorial because this video is about only creating dripping effect. Okay, just tab on photo. Our first job is to create the duplicate copy of both the elements that is model and the dripping. For that select this model and scale down a little bit like this little more. Okay, it is perfectly fine like this and tab on this three dot and create a duplicate now select this dripping and you can scale down again and we have to bring this above the model and we have to create a mask but before that we need to arrange our drip this much is perfect okay okay this much is perfect now tab on three dot create a duplicate after creating duplicate dripping uh, you can bring down this at the last means it will below the model and turn off both the models you will get to know why we create the duplicate copy of this layers okay now let's start working with the masking for that first select the model like this select the subject and tab on selection tool and you can tab on three dot and use the option called selection from layer okay like this and the whole subject will be selected and tab on dripping like this and create the mask okay so our mask is created now select this dripping the thumbnail of the dripping like this and bring like this to the subject you will see a blue square thumbnail like this it is activated boom so we have created a dripping over here and now turn on that last layer like this it will complete the dripping okay now use this first finger and tab on the model means subject and deselect it like this now we have to turn on this subject again we are activating the second duplicate layer now okay and now again select the dripping means select the last layer and again go to selection three three dots and select the option called selection from the layer like this okay and tab on this means you have to use again finger and hold like this and select invert selection okay this is very important and tab on this model duplicate model and tab on this plus and create a mask okay like this as we create the mask 
you will see select this mask and deselect everything like this again and go to photos and use eraser see we will start erasing increase the brush size okay and see you will see everything is erasing and we are getting a beautiful drip effect okay okay like this you can select this dripping at the last this is the last layer use eraser tool and you can erase it like this so it will give a very seamless look okay so we have created the dripping effect but we need to work more just we have to give the finishing to the model so select the model like this again select this model not the upper one the second duplicate subject okay and tab on photos select the move tool and if you see in the model you will see a horizontal line like this see okay so we need to merge that thing to merge that select the model and on the right hand side you can tab on this transform layer and you have to play with this y parameter okay let's see like this and just we have to merge this and see and now our model and dripping effect is seamless there is no line okay there is no cutouts okay now to enhance it little more we can add a brush effect you can download it from the google just drag this okay and bring this like this and make it little bigger and now bring that at the end of the layer okay and now we have to remove this for that tab on selection tool we will remove the background and we will keep that only yellow brush part for that select this smart selection tool and increase the you don't need to be a very accurate for this okay you can remove it like this okay and tap on the selection create invert selection and you can tap on plus and create a mask okay now deselect everything here you have a beautiful brush you can scale down little bit you can tilt it little bit you can stretch it if you want to okay and you can fill with the background also for that you can create shape on the shape menu like this like this and you can create a rectangle and you can bring to the last like this boom okay and like this you can save tab on export now about the saving part you can save this like this tab on save option tab on export and you can select the best quality okay you can choose the highest quality it's up to you you can select 100 percent best you can see the preview close you can hit okay you can save to my ipad okay let's check the project beautiful okay like this you can create beautiful dripping effect inside ipad affinity photo i hope you found this video useful then give a big thumbs up share with your friends see you very soon in the new amazing video till then take care stay safe bye bye